subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video, we are going to see the third problem on shear stresses. And for that, here is the question. It is given a steel section as shown in figure. The diagram is given. Is subjected to a shear force of 200 kilo Newton. I'll write the data that shear force is 200 kilo Newton. So it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Next, determine the shear stress at key points and sketch the shear stress distribution diagram. So for this cross section of the beam, we have to plot the shear stress distribution that would be along the depth of this beam. Now, when I look into this cross section, it is a symmetrical section. We cannot exactly call it a symmetrical I section because here the variation is gradual. It is in the form of a radius. It is not in terms of flanges and web. So this is a symmetrical section. Here there is the Y axis and this is the X axis also called as a neutral axis. Y axis would be exactly half that is from the origin the distance would be x bar is equal to 150 mm and similarly the y bar location from top and bottom would be exactly half of 300 that is 150 mm because here we have a symmetric section now the first thing would be to get the moment of inertia for this complete section and in order to calculate the moment of inertia I can say that here there is a complete square of 300 by 300 and the two semicircles are being subtracted because the area is only this much here I am shading this area of the cross section So the formula of moment of inertia would be that is into the solution part since mi about na that is the neutral axis would be called as i x x and that is the moment of inertia for a square or a rectangle it is bd cube by 12 that is from this outer rectangle I am going to subtract two semicircles and when you combine two semicircles it becomes a complete circle. So in other words I am subtracting the moment of inertia formula for a circle that is pi by 64 d raised to 4. Now putting the values over here capital B is 300 and capital D is also 300 minus pi by 64 in the problem the radius is given as 100 mm so diameter is 200 mm and from this I will get the answer of IXX which is 596.46 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 and this would be the I or the moment of inertia used in the further part of the problem. Now. After reaching this stage, since we have to calculate or plot the shear stress distribution diagram, for that we need various layers over which we are going to calculate the shear stresses. So the first layer would be there at the top, I am denoting it as 1. Similarly at the bottom the same notation because here we have symmetric section. Then there is another layer, I am just drawing a dotted line here to indicate that layer which is layer second and it is at a depth of I can say since this total depth is 300 the diameter is 200 so from 300 when we subtract 200 uh, that remains 100 so it is 50 and 50 from top and bottom fifty mm is the depth for this layer or section 2 to at the top and even at the bottom the same notation because it being a symmetric section then the third layer is at the neutral axis 
it means we have to find the layers at all these uh, find the shear stresses at all these layers so let's get started with the shear stress calculation i'll write it fast that since the shear stress calculations shear stress tau at section 1 is 0 because since it is the top and bottom layer and why the stress is 0 at the top and bottom layer for that you all can refer my video in which I had explained the derivation of shear stress for a rectangular section. Next for section 2 the shear stress formula is F A Y bar upon I B the general formula of shear stress and this would be the equation 1. Now when I am calculating the value of shear stress at layer second I have to take the area just above that and I can see here that it is a rectangular portion having width as 300 and the depth is 50 so I will draw this area separately. So this is the area where we have layer 2 over which we have to calculate the shear stress. So therefore I will say that F is given into the problem it is 200 kilo Newton which is 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Then area of the section this rectangle it is 300 into 50. 15 into 10 raised to 3 mm square then y bar is the location between the x axis for this section and the neutral axis this distance would be called as y bar for this particular section and the total y bar from the top it is 150 mm so from this I would be subtracting half of 50 that is 25 mm and that will give me this y bar one twenty five mm then I is the moment of inertia for the complete section which I had calculated it is 596.46 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 and b is the width of this section which is layer 2 the width is 300 mm so therefore put all values in equation first so we have tau at section 2 and the answer comes out to be it is 2.095 Newton per mm square then after getting the value of shear stress at this second layer the value would be same at the bottom as well because here it being a symmetric section then the only layer left is the neutral axis so I would be calculating the shear stress at the neutral axis for that I have to take the area either above or below the neutral axis and since both are same here because this is a symmetric section I would be drawing the area separately so that we can understand how to calculate the value of shear stress about the neutral axis. So for that I will mention here tau about the neutral axis the formula is F into A1 Y1 bar plus A2 Y2 bar upon IB
Now this is the area which we have to take for calculation of shear stress at the neutral axis and how I am going to calculate further is area 1 for me would be this complete rectangle which is here the width at the top is 300 mm and the height up to the neutral axis is 150 mm and now here I can see that this is a quarter circle having radius as 100 similarly another quarter circle so the concept used here would be taking the outer rectangle that is 300 by 300 from that I am going to subtract two quarter circles when they combine it becomes a semicircle so area 2 would be semicircle for me I am just going to write it step by step so that we can understand here that tau at the neutral axis would be equal to force is 200 into 10 raised to 3 that is the shear force area 1 is 300 into 300 and y1 bar would be exactly half of this that is half of 150 plus area 2 here there are two quarter circles which become a semicircle so the area of circle is pi r square radius is 100 pi into 100 square that is area of circle divided by 2 would give me the area of semicircle and then y2 bar for a semicircle the centroid is located at a distance of 4r upon 3 pi from the neutral axis over here this is at 4r upon 3 pi distance that is the x axis for the semicircle and that would be y2 bar so here into 4r radius is 100 divided by 3 pi divided by i for the complete section and b is the width at the neutral axis since total is 300 from that when I subtract 100 and 100 that is 200 the width at the neutral axis would be 100 mm so this is the value of b and when I calculate all these terms I am going to get the answer as 9.08 Newton per mm square that is the stress at the neutral axis now once I know the value of stress at the neutral axis I am going to plot the shear stress distribution diagram for that I am taking the initial figure which is given to us and plotting the shear stress along the depth of the section for that projecting the layers to the right Shear stress at the top, at the bottom, 0. Then when the depth is 50 mm, the shear stress value was 2.095 Newton per mm square. Similarly at the bottom, because it being a symmetric section. Then at the neutral axis, the value is 9.08 which is the maximum value and when we compare this problem with the problem of I section in case of I section or symmetrical I section the width was decreasing suddenly so the shear stress was increasing suddenly over this layer but when I see this section it is changing gradually so when the width changes gradually shear stress also has to change gradually so the variation would be parabolic and it would be a gradual variation not a sudden variation plotting it over here so tau at the neutral axis is 9.08 newton per mm square and this is the shear stress variation diagram for the given cross section of the beam and once we had plotted this shear stress distribution the problem gets completed and at the end of the problem if you'll find my videos useful and helpful you'll can share subscribe like and comment our channel
Thanks a lot.